Hello, welcome up to our Technique Wednesday. I'm Pamela. I'm the Stampin' Pink Rose and blog at Stampin', uh, Stampin Pink Rose com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So, I wanted to come to you today with our Technique Wednesday with something a little bit different. Uh, when I am creating a card and I'm looking for, let's say on this one, now this one is a frame and not a punch, but you can do the same with it too. So when I'm looking, I'm looking to see what can I use for my words that I want to go in. And my question always is, does it fit? So rather than waste my navy blue or my pink paper, I end up doing it out of white. And then I end up on team pieces of white of all different shapes and everything floating around my table. And so a while back, I thought to myself, you know what I need is kind of like a um, frame thing to be able to tell whether or not it fits. So what I came up with is I used basic black and I went through, and some of these are retired. And you could note it on the side there, too, if it was retired, if you wanted to do that. I keep my punches. I use them a lot, and I go back and forth. Now, I did no circles on this one, but you could do a circle. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I will go into my catalog, and I just flipped it open right now to Art Gallery. Now, I've got some of these words, and I want to make sure. Okay, let me move it up. There we go. I want to make sure you can see. I, I moved my camera around. I had it at a different angle the last time I did a video. Was not happy with it. So as a result then, I have moved it again. So now I think I've got it where I want it. Alright, so now, obviously this is way too big. So I need something smaller. So now I'll go over here. Alright, best wishes would work on this one. It's not going to work on happy birthday. Okay. Let me go to another one. I've got this one here. And you can always label them if you wanted to. Okay. Now it would work on this one. It would work on that one. It would work on congratulations. So that's a good one for that one. You can always write in your catalog too exactly which punch you think works for it the best. Okay, let's go to another one, and then we'll go to another image in the catalog. Okay, I've got this one. Okay, fits, fits, not, does not fit. Okay, all right, let's go to another one. And I put these on a ring, because then it's not going all over my desk. All right, here's this. Now let me move this over. This is the wish for everything, and it's got a lot of words on it. Okay, let's do, I'm going to make sure I get a single one. Let's take this, I've got one oval I put out. Okay, it will work for that. Not so good for that. A little tight in my book on that one. It will work, but it's a little tighter. Then I've got this one here, and that works. So, and you could do it for images too if you wanted to. I just chose, I wanted it for shapes. See, now that one's a little big, but if I wanted to use some embellishment around it, it would work. Okay, let's go to another one. Um, here's this one over here. Sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday. I like those, that phrase. Let's find one that's going to work on that one. Oh, how about this one? I can always use some um, embellishments on the side. Let's go to another one. Okay. Now remember, you could also do this with your... Um, now that works, and maybe put some embellishment gems on the side there. Let's try another one. How about this one here? 
Okay, makes it a little different. I've just kept this on my desk so I can don't have to keep going over pulling the wrong ones, not pulling the right ones. And I've only done it now. See now you could turn it this way too. And make it up and down. But do you see how by keeping them on a ring, you're not going to end up punching out umpteen of these images in white, wasting your white, let alone having them all over your desk and not know what to do with them. So instead, use these, create this with your black. And I use black because it's just a simple black basic color that, how about Mother's Day? It's past, but I just wanted to see. Now see, that's tight doesn't slid in the thing okay I'll go one more back here let me go make th good things grow okay okay that one's big that one works so what you need to do is when you go to do your words and you're trying to figure out what goes on the front you need to have one of these that is a template. That's what I was trying to think of. A template that will give you your image of exactly what it would be punched out. Now here's another one. Okay. See now that one works. If you want a little smaller. So this is an excellent way to figure out what you're going to use on your card, on your punches. Now, as I said, you could do your dies, too. You could get into your dies and do some of those. And maybe you want to label, maybe you want to put a cover sheet on this and say punches. And then if you're going to do dies, then do another ring and that says dies. And then that way you've got your dies also done. Um, you don't have to do all of them. But the ones that you're using for the very small, like this one here. Make sure I'm in camera range. Like this one here is a die. So have some of those and everything so that you could do that. So you could cut that out and you would have the size of it. All right. I hope this gave you an idea how to be able to figure out what size you're needing to get those words where you want them. And I'm hoping the way I've got the camera is set up that you're liking that angle. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. The monthly one went out yesterday. Also, I am getting more and more up on my DBWS. My calendar for the month of June is up already. I have done that. So, and I'm going to be adding more cards to my files and over there. So that's going to be going on. I'm making a lot of changes. My online class is going. I posted it in the, um, oh, don't mind me, in the uh, newsletter yesterday. It is also over on my DBWS under events. You can find all the calendar information there. So that is there for you. Um, I will be doing Funky Thursday tomorrow with stamping. I uh, haven't decided totally what I'm going to do. I've got a couple ideas. So I also think we're going to look at a couple maybe hidden little things that we're missing in the catalog that we can use. I'm going to do that. And then I have a video on Friday that is our, um, I think Friday is a technique. Hang on. Hang on. I want to make sure I'm right. No. Sorry. Tomorrow is a post. Friday is a post. Friday is a post. The video will be, I had a look at the calendar, will be a week from Friday. So Friday will be a post. Um, so that will be going out. So I'm hoping you've got some options to check out what I've got going on. Again, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. Thank you for joining me for this Technique Wednesday and have a great day.